Gaffer, a draw away tonight at Banbury. What's your assessment of that one? Um, I think if I'd have took a point uh, coming here, I was thinking that. On the way here, obviously we want to come and win games, so to come away with it, with a point, is, yeah, is good. But I think when, when you're going against a team that's down to 10 men for 15 minutes or whatever it was, we've got to really put them to the sword and I was disappointed. Um, in the manner in which we approached it, we didn't move the ball quick enough, we didn't play it in wide areas like we wanted to do, or what you should do really, uh, and really cut them open. And we then look vulnerable on the, on the transition as well. And that, listen, they're a fantastic side, really, really good. And I've been in this, in this job now and, and working in the National North for, for a year now, and um, they're by far the best footballing side we've come up against. So, as I say, credit to the boys as well, going 1-0 down, coming back into it. Um, they say, is it a fair reflection of it? I think they had some good opportunities, but then so did we right at the end. And you made a few changes from, from the game last time out with mm. Lucas and Trey coming in. Was that just to try and inject a bit of energy into the final third? Yeah, I wanted to change the shape round a little bit. We've been going with a point down and I just wanted to flatten it off. Um, just with just looking at the way they play, I just thought Lucas would, especially if he could find those pockets and holes, um, you know, it, it would be key. For, it would be key for us, and he starved out of it a little bit. You know, we saw glimpses of him getting into dangerous areas, but no real end product with it. Second half, he was, he, he got on the ball a lot more, which was really pleasing. Um, I wanted to bring Trey in, um, just to add a bit more physicality, really, uh, a bit more height. You know, we knew they were, a, were quite a small side, and we we're trying. Obviously, with set pieces, our first two didn't go off, so they got a rollick in for that. Um, and we were, obviously we. Right at the end there, we had a couple more and they were in dangerous areas and we looked a threat when we did it that way. Um, so that's something for us to think about as well. But like I said, I just I want to keep saying it again. I, I wanted a reaction. We got one. Um, you know, we're pleased with a point ultimately coming up to second in the table. But when it goes down to 10 men, you know, I'm, I'm really thinking about taking all three points and I probably think it's two points dropped. And it was a disappointing own goal for Morgs, but apart from that, I thought you had a good performance at the back today, as did the whole back three against what is a, one of the better teams in this league. Yeah, listen, when they get into wide areas and they flash balls in, they, they, they really do put some pace on them as well. And I think it's just, I'll have to look back on it, I'll educate him. Um, just in terms of his body shape, might have been all wrong, he might have been defending, you know, it, was, it was one of those quick ones, but for me it was a terrible start. Three minutes, down, three minutes after half time we concede. Um, We've got a pattern for that in this moment of time and that needs to stop. Um, you know, I've just given a rollicking about it in there as well. We're just not happy with it. It's just things need to change. Um, and it will do, and it will do. I, I, I truly believe it. As I said, it's a young group um, that need guidance, they need nurturing, they need coaching, and they're getting it. And you know, slowly slowly but surely, you know, <clears throat> we'll be a force to be reckoned with this league. I truly believe that. And despite going behind early on in the second half, the lads got back into it with another goal from Matt McClough. He's very important to this team, isn't he? He's important, but then Matty has to do the other aspects of it as well, which he, which he did it, you know, as best as what he can. Um, you know, he's so sharp in and around the box. And he, if there's one person you want it to fall to in the club, it is him. He's, he's razor sharp with her, so he's just got that sniffing instinct. But he does a lot more than just score goals. You know, he's got some guidance there. Um, he stepped forward, especially in the second period. He wanted the ball to move quickly enough, and we need to start providing him more service, as with all the other front players. You know, I've got, I'm blessed with good front players here. Uh, we need to start providing them more service. How we do that, you know, is by moving that ball quickly and moving it with more quality. But like I said, um, we had no. I didn't think we had any attempts on on Saturday uh, at Chorley. Um, Generally, we got bullied and beaten up there a little bit, and we were seconds to everything. I didn't think we worked hard enough, but tonight these boys are putting a real good shift. Um, just I'd like it a little bit more. These Tuesday teams, they turn up on a Saturday, It'd be nice. So there's something for us to look at that one. And one more positive from tonight is having Ben Nugent back in the squad. He'll be useful going moving forwards, wouldn't he? Nugent is a huge player uh, for me. It's just I think I've had 40, 40 odd games now and he's only been available for 20 of them down to suspension and injuries. Um, like I said, the injury list is, is long. Um, and he's just come back, he's taken him what, probably six to eight weeks now to get back from it. He's he done his MCL, which is the same injury he had last year. Uh, we've had bad news with Diggs as well, he's done his PCL. 
Um, Matty obviously did, had a slight MCL strain, so he's missed a couple of weeks as well. Dorsey's ruptured a complete ligament off his ankle, but he's back at, at this moment, um, just fighting to get back into it. Uh, JJ obviously is, you know, he had a freak one at, at Brackley. You know, I've not really gone into much detail about it because I didn't really want to do it, but I think things have been said now, so I'll come out and say it. You know, these are long term ones and they're, they're not over excessive in training. These have been freak ones. They've all been, all been done during games. Well, apart from the Dorse one where he just literally twisted in it and he felt a pop and that was his ligament gone. So I've been to see specialists. You know, Diggs has got a bit put in a brace and we're probably looking probably three to four months with Diggs. So, so it's a blow, it's a blow for the group because he's done really well. But like I said, I don't make any, any excuses with it. it is what it is. And my job is to coach and manage and, and try and put out the best football team I can for this, for this club. And I will endeavour to do that for however long I'm here. So, um, like I said, the, those boys today deserve a lot of credit. You know, they took a battering on Saturday, went 1-0 down there, showed great fight and great character to then come back at 1-1. Um, and I think really we should have increased the pressure a lot more. And that's something for us to look at going forward. But I just want them to have some belief. Just said to him in there, just have belief. I have the utmost belief in every single player in there to produce something well this season. And I just need them to start doing it again. Like I said to him, I feel like I'm the only one that I'm holding a ceiling that's collapsing at the minute and I need them to start picking up the pieces and putting them back into place. And if they do that and they start believing in themselves and start believing in themselves as a group, you know, we will we will achieve stuff, especially when the players come back and we start getting stronger. Like I said, with news coming back, it's brilliant. He's worked he's worked as hard as he possibly can. Um, he's probably only really still 80%. He's still feeling some pain in it. Leads today. Um, Obviously, he rolled his ankle on Saturday. He's, I don't know how he's got through 90 minutes, a testament to him. Um, you know, these are the players I've gone to war with. And like I said, if, if I knew those injured boys, you know, that those injured boys are trying as hard as they can to get back on the pitch and, and working as hard as possible. And um, as I say, if I hopefully it can be sooner, or lever, uh, sooner rather than later, and, you know, it, can, it just makes us stronger. Uh, and we've got big players out, and they're big game players as well. And a point on the road tonight, but attention's quickly turned to Saturday's FA Cup game. How do you approach that one? We do, first of all, we allow the players to go and relax and recover. Um, they'll be back in on Thursday with a good assessment and see how they are. Uh, and then we make plans. We've already started our prep work onto them. We went and watched the game at Siren, uh, myself, Daff and Maka. Um, you know, it'd be a tough game. It'd be a tough game. It's FA Cup. Upsets happen. We have to... We have to um, respond to it in the right way. We need to we need to be professional in our approach, we need to move that ball, we need to compete, we need to match physicality. And if we can do that, you know, we get opportunities in front of goal like our backers to, to win the game. But like I said, it's a mentality one on there. They're gonna to want to come and win, cause an upset. You know, all the pressure's on us, like I said to them in there, and we've got to make sure we do everything to get into the hat for the next round.